So we're going to do this little quick little hike and then we're going to drive over to the park store park there and walk over to the church. And we're off again. We park at the park store over here. We're gonna walk along the playing field to the what to the park office maintenance area, park office, and then there should be a way to get to the church from there. So we'll check it out. This is gonna go pa back past um, the log cabin and stuff that we walked past yesterday. That's your resource center. That's your playing fields over there. This is your busy, busy, busy road. This place is busy. This road is non-stop, and that's why we drove over because we didn't. It's not. In, it's not enjoyable walking up and down the side of a busy road. So, great family park. Day use, awesome. Day use. I mean, there's a lot. The beach was a little ridiculous to me totally packed but the the rest of the day use area like along here it's easy to find a spot under a tree so it's pretty cool but yeah more of a family park than a couple's park I would say no hiking, no hiking. that trail we just did that two kilometers that was it it was nice but for us being here four days five days four nights were no yeah, four nights we're here. Three days. Yeah, we're kind of running out of stuff to do. Can't just sit at the campsite. Can't just sit at the campsite and drink all weekend. Guess you could, but it's more to life than that. I can buy an ice cream. <laughs> Found a toonie? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just walked past the maintenance area where we saw yesterday. There's a little sign here, Heritage Walk. Uh, the Elden Hall, Elden Hall Museum is, is back to the right where we came from, and St. George's Church is this way. Sybil Memorial Stone Church, 1877. So we'll find our way to it from here. I guess that's the park office there. The old what? Oh, the parish house maybe. Some little old house here. There's the church. church parking so it is an active church still so we don't want to walk in on anything so Stephen Leacock is buried here 1869 to 1944 um, I'm gonna go check out I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the dogs here I'm not sure what I'm walking into here Church is open. It's pretty cool. That's some large stones. <clears throat> Little cemetery here. That's facing the other direction. Oh, Sibolds. William Mart Martin Sibold. Died 1849. Another Sibold. Hmm. That's, that's some old stuff there. Oh, 
Oh, this is nice. Pretty cool. I mean, it's a cemetery, but... some old ones check out this church so check this out it's pretty cool some old trees too pine trees I'm gonna find the Stephen Leacock one, I think it's over here somewhere. Leacocks, but they're not. Uh, there's George Leacock, February 8th, 1877 to 1958. Oh, Stephen Leacock, Sure that. Lake Simcoe. Hazy overcast day today. It's starting to heat up. So I think that's going to conclude our little uh, cemetery tour here. New, uh, Go grab the dogs and let Carol in. Let her have a chance to check this out, take some pictures. it for the church I guess so the only thing we have left to explore here now is the museum which kind of like this what we just did we can only go one at a time one of us has to stay with the dogs so we don't get to enjoy it together it's actually mostly just art and stuff they redid it a few years ago and it's not like true to the house anymore it's like art and artifacts oh not stuff we're interested in no. served from when the siblings lived there. Now it's like a museum. So there you go. Back to the campsite for lunch. So it's lunch time here at the ranch. Cooking up some sausages. Gonna have a couple little pieces of pea meal on there. So while that's cooking up, I'm gonna get into one of my craft beers here, which is a Naughty Neighbor. Naughty neighbor. Why hello neighbor. Full bodied American pale ale. So here we go. Let's try this out. <sighs> Naughty neighbor. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not much for the ales. I could drink it, but 
Anyways, sausages. So there's what we got: sausages and pea meal. So I think we're gonna leave this at this for this place, Sybil Point Provincial Park. Um, it's suitable, <laughs> suitable for families, I think. With the young kids. With the young kids, there's a lot to do. Um, with families as far as for what we want what we want to do it's not really for us we still have another day well we have tonight and all day tomorrow tomorrow night to go so maybe we'll go into Sutton after all <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll go into Sutton after all then we're off to McGregor Point Provincial Park so uh, this was on our hit list of things to do anyways so either way we we're gonna come here um, Carol used to come here back in the day with her ch children when they were Day use only. Though. Day use only when they were little. So um, it is a big park. It's a very busy park. The campgrounds are actually like pretty quiet, pretty good. There's a couple of noisy people kind of close to us, but I mean that's happens. Yeah, that roll the dice. That's what you get. So, anyways, we'll leave this at that, and we will see you at McGregor Point Provincial Park on Tuesday, and. We'll leave you with a campfire to put you to sleep. Thanks for watching. Shitter's ball! Shitter's ball. <laughs>